So we back. <laughs> Yo, what's going on YouTube? CJ Brand is back, finally. Finally, probably after a two or three month hiatus with a brand new tech unboxing video for you guys today. Let me tell you where I've been at. Cause y'all probably like, bruh, we gave you 2K subscribers. Thank you for that, by the way. Big thank you for that. And then you left. Well, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. If you guys have been following my journey, I have started off from just from using a basic iPhone 12 Pro Max. Then I went over to the uh, Canon M50, sold the M50. Then we bought us a Sony A7, uh, I think S2, sold that. Then we finally got us the Canon R, which you guys probably don't even know about just yet because we will have to do a review on this beautiful Canon R because man, man, it's great. So with that being said, you guys, I have been doing photography for the last couple months so far, and I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at it. I got a lot of more stuff to learn about, learning about the um, ISO uh, apertures and stuff like that, and all the fancy camera gimmicks, you know, all that stuff right there. You know, we got a lot of crap. So what we're gonna do today is this. We're still gonna keep the tradition up and go ahead and do another tech unboxing today. But in <laughs> but this time, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna be unboxing this Westcott FJ80, which is gonna be a uh, camera speed light. And man, one of my uh, co well not co-works, one of my friends I've actually met at the fashion show, um, he actually let me use this FJ80 and I got a couple clips uh, that I wanna show you guys, or not clips, but like a couple pictures I took and, and I'm gonna show you guys what this FJ80 can do compared to a Godox uh, V863 for the Canon I used to have, where I still do got it somewhere in, over here. But yeah, we're getting rid of that uh, Godox and we're moving to the Westcott because this thing is fire. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Unbox this bad boy. No more top down view because that's the old lingo. Go ahead and open this box up. And we're just gonna show you everything that's up inside of here right quick. Cause I mean, hey, I don't know. <laughs> so inside this box, we're gonna first start off with the charger port for it. Uh, now this does look pretty different, but this thing is pretty meaty right here. I'm not even gonna lie. So we'll be sticking our uh, lithium polymer bo uh, battery for the FJ80 on top of here so we can get it charged up. Now the gold ox it has something like this but it's very small uh, so what i'll do is this in the future i'll go ahead and do a, re a review video before i sell it and i'll show you guys the difference between this west kai and also the gold ox and i may even upload a couple pictures because i think i used the flash there at this party well not party but this fashion show we went to um i can show you guys a little comparison for that then also in here we have a shoe plate. So this right here is gonna come with a quarter 20 mil on the bottom of it. Let's go ahead and take it out this bag. It is unboxing, but hey, I think I'm gonna take it out this bag. <laughs> it's one of the worst things about unboxing. Fat fingers can't do nothing. Something just fell out. Nah, it was nothing but a piece of plastic. That's all cool. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> they have this quarter 20 mil on the bottom of this thing right here. Yeah, there we go, let that autofocus. Hey, can it all fire, man. <laughs> we came a long way. Quarter 20 mount on the bottom, so we can place this on the table if we wanted to and stand up like the um, flash itself. And then the next thing we have in here is gonna be the beautiful FJ80 lithium polymer battery. Now, I'm not 100% for sure on how um, how long this thing can charge, or well, not how long it can charge, but how long it stays awoke. But I think it's pretty good, uh, seeming that you do get 400 plus flashes per charge with this thing in here. So, with that being said, that's all of that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we got the cable for this right here. So, yeah, this thing is hefty. So, I'm assuming that this should have a big battery life because you got a big box and we got one of these type of wires. Normally, I get like a USB uh, A type of wire and I can just plug it in. But hey, I gotta plug this in a different way. <laughs> okay, I think that's all that's inside of there that we do need to worry about. And then we have a traveling case with the FJ80 inside of here. But first, we also have another USB-C cable to USB-A. This right here is gonna allow us to go ahead and update uh, the uh, Westcott FJ80. So let's put the wires to the side. Let's go and get to the main product, man. Let's go ahead and see what's up with the Westcott. I like it. I think I can close the box. Man, I like it. Okay, hold on, hold on, we almost there. <laughs> We're gonna put the box on the side right quick.
and let's go ahead and take the, take this thing out of the bag. <laughs> All right, so whew, this thing looks so strange. This right here is going to be the Westcott 80 um, Speed Flash, Speed Light Flash, that I would say. And this right here is going to be one of the round heads compared to the other brand. Well, some other brands they have like the uh, I want to say like a I would say a rectangle vibe to it, or maybe whatever type of shape they want to say. But this has a round head, and it's not that bad at all. It is pretty lightweight. It is full plastic that I can tell, but it also is touchscreen. Comes with a 2.8 inch uh, LED. Uh, our LCD touchscreen that you can very much interact with. So that's pretty cool. Inside the traveling bag, that's all we got. Traveling bag as big as I don't know what. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, plug this bad boy up and we're gonna go ahead and talk some specs about you and see exactly why you should pick this over any other flash. <laughs> all right, so. On here, right here, what we can go ahead and do is this. It's a power button right here. We just go ahead and hold that. I'm gonna look at my external monitor right quick. And with that being said, all you gotta do is press this button right here and we're fully not on this shaft. So I guess this thing has a time limit. So what I'll do is this. Let's go ahead and tap it to turn it on. Then we're gonna get this beautiful screen right here for you guys. And then we get the, oh God, it has a model light. That's pretty cool. Hey, look at me, hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, we about to die already. So let's go ahead and turn it off. We're only going to talk some quick specs about it because we need to charge this thing up. And then of course, like I said, I've been getting told that, hey bro, y'all know how to do reviews, man. So I'm like, hey, tell me how to do a review. <laughs> so of course, I've always wanted to do this. Um, I live in St. Louis, Missouri, so it's kind of hard for me to go outside and take these, you know, equipment outside and go do some real reviews because, you know, we kind of, Mm, kind of kind of crazy over here, you know? You probably, you from St. Louis, man. I know you know what I'm talking about. I already know you know what I'm talking about. Even from Missouri, man. Come on, man. You right, you right. No. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, this Westcott AD, um, FJ80, the number is right in it. It's 80 watt speed light. So, this is right here is going to give you 80 watts of um, high power energy. My uh, Godox um, V860, the third edition, only got like 74, 76 perhaps. So, I was like, I don't really want to buy it because it ain't got that much of a difference of like, you know, the wattage or whatever. But I went down to this uh, camera store called Shillers here in St. Louis and they told me this. The FJ80 has a more consistent light, like flash to it compared to the Godox. So I was like, I don't see what you're talking about until, until I used it and I went to the fashion show. I'm like, oh, oh, he was, he's right. It, it does have a consistent light. I was able to produce the same exact images from here compared to going, I did a photo shoot in my room uh, behind me. I got, I'm in a home studio. I ain't paying nobody to go to the studio right now. I got to build my clientele up. Just started, man, we doing, we doing yeah, yeah, a little bit, you know, but <laughs> we just got to build that up and we going to figure it out. So what I'll do is this, I'll show you guys a clip of the FJ80 in the nightclub versus the um, Godox in a studio edition. And then if I do remember, I'm pretty sure I can tell you guys what's the difference between uh, the Godox and this West Kai um, in that night. Cause I did use both of them for sure. I know that. So we will show you guys that. Um, let's go ahead and move down on the line. We got us a quarter 20 mount right here as well. So if I wanted to go ahead and I ain't got nothing to mount it with, but if I want to go ahead and mount this thing onto one of my tripods, I can definitely go ahead and do that. So that's, that's pretty chill right there. I didn't think that they would put that on it, but it does come in handy. So on your camera, you know, you got that one hot shoe mount. You can go ahead and go ahead and get your camera cage, you know, and hook it up to the side. Instead of bringing one of these big old poles with you, I can't see myself bringing that pole with me no more. Uh, the camera, uh, the, what is it called? The light pole. Yeah, that thing too heavy. That thing way too heavy, man. <laughs> All right, and then like I said already, the touchscreen on here is a 2.8 LED or LCD, whatever they want to call it, baby. I like it. The Godox isn't touchscreen at all. You got to go ahead and physically touch the buttons and go through it. I hated it, but when my uh, dude showed me this, I was like, oh, oh, I can just touch it, right? And it go and it moves, right? Man, smooth as a button. I, I loved it. It was straight great. Um, so like I said, it's well, 400 plus, um, 400, fu 400 plus, wow. <laughs> So you get 400 plus powerful flashes, all the 80 watts each, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. That's why you need 80 watts, 80 watts, 80 watts. Remember that number, FJ80, 80 watts. 
Easy right in the name, right? Like the, the Golox 860. You would think you're only getting 60 watts, but nah, baby. You're getting like 74, 76, one of those. <laughs> and then with the battery inside of here as well, this right here is only gonna weigh that 1.18 pounds. So, I mean, once again, it's not that heavy. I think the Canon R probably weigh like, Eh, probably like three pounds at the most with the lens on there. Perhaps it could be more. I don't know. I can't tell. I, you know, I got the games. Uh, uh, fat. What the hell is even that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that, you know? Um, then one of the great things about this as well, with the starting price of it, it's only like $326. Now, $329 bucks to be exact, I believe, so without taxes and fees. But if you do go on B&H video, you ain't got to pay your taxes. At least I ain't got to pay your taxes. I, I love it, man. I love it there. Um, so, yeah. Universal flash, so I mean, any camera you got, if like me and him, luckily we have the same camera, we got the same camera R, he got a camera R5. Love the, I love the R5, I'm not gonna lie, that thing is sharp and crispy. Yeah. <laughs> but if I got a Sony friend that's next to me, all I gotta do is like, hey man, you need a camera thing, go ahead and. But if, you know, for my Sony users, I know you guys do know. You know, Sony got that plastic shoe mount. I think that there is a, um, no, I don't think, I know that there is another option for this as well because you just have to buy the, I think it's like 400 bucks actually when you buy the Westcott uh, FJ80 and uh, you have to get the Sony mount with it instead, unfortunately. So, but it's still universal. You just gotta buy the extra mount because Sony got plastic compared to everybody else got the metals. That mean you might as well come over to the EOS, the EOS game, sorry about that. Our EOS, our EOS, whatever. I don't even know what they say the Canon R should be called. I don't know if it's a Canon R, e, uh, Canon EOS R, or Canon EOS R, or OS <laughs> camera, whatever, but, but hey, kudos to y'all. Next thing on here, we do have a model lamp as well, like I showed you guys earlier. I can go ahead and turn that bad boy back on. I think so. Let's see, we're going to power that on. Let's see if we're going to show up or not. Oh yeah, that model lamp right here, it is gonna be at 5,600 uh, 5, Kelvin at the brightest you can go, but you can always turn it down if you do need to. And uh, man, I like, I think I like this model lamp better than the other one. And I don't even think this is on full power. Nah, this only on two. Oh, we can go up to three. <laughs> Wanna learn a dark story? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn that bad boy back off because we need to save that battery. Uh, so that's all cool on there. And I mean, I think that's pretty much it. That's all you probably want to know. I don't like to do them big long reviews because the longer the review is, the less I just, I ain't paying attention to the video no more because I mean, you're talking too much. I don't care about the specs. I just want to know, is this thing good or not? I think it's good. You should think it's good. I think you should go buy it. What you think? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can read the box. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so that's J80. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's crazy. It actually on the box said 450 plus watts, but on the website say only 400. So I wanna know, did they do another update? Maybe they dropped down the flash amount or did they increase it? Who knows? The recycle time on here is 0.05 dash 1.2 seconds of a recycle time. You also do get non F stops. So the F stops on here, I believe is gonna be, let's turn this thing back on right quick. I'm not gonna blind myself. I gotta figure out how the heck to turn this light off actually. <laughs> so the F stops on here, you can you guys can probably see, get out my face cannon. <laughs> You guys can see I got a seven right here. So I think it's, bear with me, bear with me. Nah, I ain't gonna do that one. So yeah, I guess. Um, okay, so yeah, we just click on the numbers actually. So hold on dog, we gotta turn this model lamp off. This mother blind to me. All right, so you just click on the number seven right here. And then we got some arrows at the very, very bottom where you can go ahead and up and down it. That's gonna be your F-stops right there. Um, now the ones that I was using so far was on a nine F-stop. Um, and that's that, that's the highest you can go. So we're gonna show you some images right quick. They should be probably like maybe right here, or probably but just, let's cover my face up. Let's go ahead and just put it right in the middle. Go ahead and <laughs> you just see the picture, man. I mean, the picture is very beautiful. Uh, shout out to Tyler Flowers. Follow her on Instagram. She recently just graduated as well, and she's a dope model. Definitely go ahead and follow her man that's all i'm gonna say follow her because if you from a different state and you like to do modeling or you a modeling agency you know go ahead and hit her up man best model i've ever seen so far uh i mean back to the video uh we got the ttl mode we got the manual mode ttl don't add me i don't know what ttl really means just yet 
because I haven't had to use. I've only been using mine on manual, but I will find out what TTL is and I'll show y'all that in the West Kai versus Gold Ox review very shortly. Um, on here as well, we have 20 frames per second continuous capture. So I'm pretty sure that means that once you have it on the camera shoot, you shoot that camera, you don't. You get 20 uh, frames per second on there. Um, yeah, got 2.4 gigahertz of a wireless range, 328 feet as far as you can leave this thing away from your trigger. Um, we got 15 groups, well really 16 on the um, on the website, I guess, but we'll say 15 because the box ain't 15. Uh, then you also got 31 different channels. And what the groups mean is this, like if I got the West, the West Cod, um 400 or the 200, I can put that in a group one, or I can put maybe my Godox system on group two. Or I'm lying. This what the hell does this mean? I have no idea. I will I will tag that in. We will we will put, drop a description for y'all about that. I'm lying, bro. Don't add me. <laughs> Don't add me at all on that one. But I think that's it. And then y'all can read a bunch of stuff on the back. They got a lot of more performance features on the back of this. I ain't read none of it. I'm not gonna lie, cause it's too much. It is. I ain't gonna lie. Anyway, you guys, I think that's a wrap for it. Um, I just got to show y'all this. I just want to, you know, well, do me this. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and drop some more clips down, or not clips, but pictures down that I have used on this right here. Cause I think it's pretty cool. And I'll show you guys the unedited version versus the edited version of what this thing does. Now they do have another system, uh, not the system, but like an accessories pack you can purchase with. I think it's like 80 bucks. You get to do like a lot of gels and uh, honeycomb features and like a dome for it. I am about to pick that up because, hey, let me turn this thing on. I'm gonna show you how bright this dang on light is. Cause dog, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it, but I, I know I can see it. That bruh, man, is it gonna go again? Man, when I take in person, in person, my dude, bruh, just imagine you take, so I got this how I had it. I'm in the place shooting. I got it like this, trying to take a picture. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. We can't do that no more. But well, anyway, you guys, thank y'all so much for tuning back in with Caesar Brand. It's been a pleasure. I will be back. I'm not going to take another couple months off because we're going to do some more uh, headphone gadgets and stuff like that. But we're mainly going to be switching our channel over from all that random tech to mainly camera gear. And we also will be in the future showing you guys how to take professional pictures on any camera you got. Because me personally, now that I got the Canon R, now that I actually know what I'm doing, I kind of do miss my Canon M50. So I may go ahead and pick one of those back up very, very shortly. But until next time, you guys, the brand is out. Peace.